Hello, I'm Jeff Reiser with Techstone Industrial Sales. This is our beam model ultrasonic seamer. We've traveled to a local mill that has one. We're going to do your seaming on this particular machine. As you can see, it's driven via chains and sprockets down a beam. The operator simply walks behind the unit and overlaps the backing. The seaming is occurring under the horn. And behind it is just a pull roller to keep the backing feeding out of the from under the horn. When you make a thing, what you try to do is overlap the two pieces of back and, and keep both edges under the horn of the ultrasonic steamer. That's going to leave you with an overlap of about an inch, inch and a half wide. That'll prevent any frayed edges. It'll help it so that you're going to be able to get the steamer. Typically, we recommend using a heat cutter to cut the backing prior to sealing it with the ultrasonic seamer. It's relatively easy to cut the old roll off of the core using this heat cutter. The new roll, when it's rolled into, into place, can be cut prior to seaming time. That way, you're not going to be spending a whole lot of time cutting the backing. What this does is it gives the backing a sealed edge and makes it quite a bit neater and more shippable when you do seam with the ultrasonic. is going to be your second style of backing. It's wide enough that we're going to put two seams in this particular piece. Again, this machine won't work on juice, but it will work on your synthetic-based product. You can peel the two layers apart like a postage stamp, but when pulling in the direction that's going to occur on your processing line, the seam is strong enough to get through to the carpet. But typically you can take one end of the seam and peel it apart like a postage stamp. Or if you snap it very quick, you can pull it apart, but generating just a constant side-to-side -side tension on the seam, it is strong enough to hold.
can touch the horn and it won't burn you. However, if you grab it hard, you will feel quite a bit of heat from the friction. The seaming of the backing is occurring due to frictional heat melting the two layers together. Typically in most manufacturing lines, the beam here is mounted to the coder above. We can manufacture brackets that will allow you to mount it. That way you're not going to have these legs in the way which could possibly be a trip hazard for your operator. However, if you would like it mounted on the legs where it can be rolled into place, We'll be glad to supply them that way. We have a few people that do leave them on legs. In most cases, as I stated, they are mounted from above. The connections for the ultrasonic is going to require an air supply at 80 PSI and also 220 volt single phase power. We do strongly recommend that it is a dedicated earth grounded power supply. In the location where we're filming this, what they do is they purchase small rolls of secondary backing, assemble them using the ultrasonic seamer, and then they sell them to the carpet manufacturers in the local community. <laughs> 